Welcome to Larry's Entertainment Lab, where we're going to talk about video games, music, craft beer, and hockey. And today we have a special guest, Kevin. Hey! Excellent. Hello, hello. Brassworks Brewing is the brewery of the episode today. They're out of where? Waterbury, Thomaston? Uh, I think it's Waterbury. We're drinking mango habanero. It's spicy. And we're also going to drink a blood orange farmhouse ale, which tastes kind of like candy. Oh, all right. That sounds For a good. farmhouse, it's not funky. All right, we're going to go with the spicy one first. Okay, it doesn't smell it doesn't smell spicy like the one Adam had. It actually smells really mangoey. Yeah, it tastes really mangoey, but it also has like a kick after. Well, I like mango habanero wings. Kevin's just going for it, so I all guess right, I will. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> cheers. Sorry. Cheers. Here we go. Okay. I like it. You like it? 3.5. Oh, wow. That is spicy. Mm -hmm. That aftertaste is definitely spicy. Yeah, I'd probably rate it a three. I'm not a big fan of the spicy beers. Yeah, I think I would go with a three and a half as well. This is the first, like... Only because it's a little spicy, but I know, I know habanero is... Very spicy. Gonna be spicy. Yeah. The, well, I mean, usually the spicy is, like, ruining, ruining it. I like the spicy. Well, that, the spicy's on, it's like right after. So yeah, exactly. it's not like the other one that we that, were drinking at the Super Bowl. Oh, yes. I can't wait to have heartburn tonight. It's going to be great. Already starting. Oh, yeah. It's not a bad beer. You should definitely go to the brewery in Waterbury and check it out. It's like, it's right near the, the DMV. Oh, okay. So it's like it's in just that industrial park. Yeah, but... Uh, my GPS made me go all through a different parking lot, and I, I could see the brewery, but I couldn't get to it. And I just kept driving in circles, and then I realized I had to get out of that parking lot and into another parking lot. And boom, there it was. There's a brewery and a distillery. I think it's not open yet, but they're oh, cool. going to be opening. So it's pretty cool. Go check them out. They did the Suck It Up Buttercup with, oh, with a Little the, Red Bar. Which we featured last episode. If you haven't checked it out, go do that. The brewery and the episode. Oh my god, I'm gonna have a heartburn. <laughs> Larry's going down for the count. All right, video games. What's new in the eShop? Anything worth buying? Anything on sale? The only thing I saw on sale that I'd be able to get to by now is uh, Terraria is thirty percent off. It's twenty dollars and ninety nine cents till March first. And that's a game about what? I call it Minecraft, but for the Super Nintendo. It's like an 8-bit adventure Minecraft game. There's more adventure than Minecraft has. But I still get very lost in it, and I don't really know what to do. I build houses and get killed by zombies. I've never made it far. I'm the worst gamer in the world. I definitely am, because I've never even played Minecraft. It's 2020. <laughs> How have you not played Minecraft once? <laughs> because it's on it's literally on everything. <laughs> because I just never really had any interest. Minecraft is Legos for any video game system. Well, or not even that. You can just do what I do and be a Minecraft terrorist. Okay. Or you just you run around with TNT and blow other people's houses and things up until you get banned. That sounds mean. <laughs> but it's fine. It's not real. It, it makes people cry, and you can't undo what has been done. I once made a giant mansion, and I thought it'd be cool to put, like, lava in it for lights. Not cool. I burnt my whole thing down. I couldn't stop it. That sounds awful. Yeah. It's fun. <laughs> it's really fun, though. It's really fun. It teaches you how to not do stupid things. Okay. I guess I'll have to check it out. So what are these games that Stardew Valley Creator is working on? You know anything about that? I don't know what the games are because he won't tell. He didn't want people to get too hyped, so calm down. But there's going to be two more games, possibly, that tie into Stardew Valley. That's all he said. That's is all that he said. that farming game? That's yes, that, farming, it's that game. farming game. Oh, exciting. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> it is exciting. I like it. It's kind. Of, it's no, like it's, Minecraft in a way. It's, it's cool, especially that like one person made all of it. Is pretty impressive, but that's not not your my style. Speed. <laughs> I, I just like the eight bit art style. That's 
my thing. I love all the Nintendo-y looking 8-bit artwork and music. That's just what I like. The game itself, I don't know. It gets repetitive pretty quick. It does quick. get repetitive. But and it like, was a good fill-in for Animal Crossing. We'll hear more about tomorrow, actually, because Nintendo's doing a direct about that. So that should be pretty interesting to see what's different other than I know the crafting thing. But they also, Nintendo also announced that there's going to be no microtransactions, so you won't have to buy anything to speed up gameplay. But again, Animal Crossing also does kind of get repetitive after you do everything. But, yep. Like I said, I can't wait to pay Tom Nook for the house that I own in Animal Crossing while paying for my house that I own in real life. So it's like doing it twice. Yeah. It's like a house within a house. Houseception. Except I think in Animal Crossing, I could probably craft better there than in real life. I don't know. You've been doing pretty good with that lately. What are you playing, Kevin? That isn't on Nintendo, Mr. Non-Nintendo Gamer. Call of Duty. Because it's, it's... Oh, the new one. It's really good. Surprisingly, that's kind of it. I have a few games I bought, but I haven't played. I know that lifestyle. Yeah. Like I just downloaded Goat Simulator. <laughs> I don't you... know when I'm gonna play it. But you only got it because it was seven dollars. Yep, it was. It was free on the PlayStation Network like last month. Yeah, I got it from that. It didn't touch it. Huh. But it's, it's, <laughs> I need to know if it's good. It's in my library. So <laughs> did get in it. the future, when I'm never going to play it, I can download it. How's the, is the Call of Duty, it's for PC, PS4, and Xbox, I'd imagine. Yeah, yeah, and they have cross-play now, so you can make a party with anyone, basically. Yeah, I'm glad that they finally started doing that with, like, just about anything now. Yeah, a lot of the big stuff has it, but it's, it's really cool. It's... I normally don't play online for Call of Duty, but this one I've probably played more than any. That's all we ever used to do was play Call of Duty online. Yep. Back in the good old days. Back in 2007. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's it's really good. If you liked it then, this one is like right up there with it. What's this egg game thing? Oh, it's a phone game? <laughs> yeah, so me and Nemo have been playing Egg Inc. on our phones. It's like a, it's a stupid game. Like, like Flappy Bird stupid? Probably worse. It's, uh, you start off with just a normal egg and you have to build an egg farm to produce more eggs and more money. And then eventually you get these things called soul eggs that help make more eggs to make more money. You, you start out just tapping a button to make chickens come out of a hen house and into whatever you have for a barn. It's just stupid and I've been really addicted to it. It's free. Download it and get addicted. It's <laughs> stupid, right. but you, you'll, you'll probably get addicted. You know, that's how that actually works with chickens in real life. You just get one and you start tapping it a <laughs> and bunch. You just start and tapping. you just start shooting out eggs. You get yeah. more and more. And then you sell them for more and more money. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's how Purdue got started. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they thought it would be fun just to buy a dozen eggs and see if they would hatch. Yeah. And then they did. Yep, and now they got <laughs> millions of them. Millions of them. <laughs> Smash Bros. Ultimate Fighters Pack 2, or Pass 2, whatever. Pass 2, yes. Kevin, you don't even play Smash Brothers, do you? No. I haven't for a while, and I don't have Nintendo, so I don't have a way to. <laughs> I, I have everything but a Switch. You should just buy a Switch Lite, they're cheap enough. Or, it's not that far past Christmas where you could buy me a Switch Lite. <laughs> <laughs> just true. buy a Switch Heavy. Or a Switch Heavy. <laughs> I'm, I'll be happy with either. So the Ultimate Fighter Pass 2 is coming out, or did it come it's out? It's coming out. It's coming out. We don't know who's in it. Or... We're going to spread a rumor right now and say that Waluigi's in it. Confirmed by Larry. Confirmed by me. <laughs> it's He's got to be in it, right? Uh, Waluigi, they've been crying about this forever. He's got to be in it. Been crying about it so much. There's a hilarious YouTube video about him not being in it. Well, depending on copyrights, <laughs> we might just roll that clip now. Well, I've heard there was a sneaky gent who yearned to be in Smash Ultimate then learned he wouldn't be able to win. 
who made the cut, the nerd, the prude, the never was, the always nude, the ones who'd never utter hallelujah, 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 as his trophy, hallelujah. But baby, I've been here before. You opted for the pterosaur. Some squid thing showed up and the fans said booyah. I said an echo would be fine, but you said to well, Daisy time is a cold and it's a broken hallelujah. Hallelujah. I taught the ear list all day long, but even so, who the heck asked for Pichu? Why won't you Why let won't me make my case to punch case some mascots in the face? I go assist yourself by Destroy everyone in Mario Tennis Aces instead. <laughs> All right, and uh, if 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 we get hit with a copyright, welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so who was in Fighters Pass One? Banjo Kazooie, Piranha Plant, or was Piranha that Plant was thing? the first one? All right. Oh, Joker. Or yeah, it was from a Phantom. What's the name of the friggin' game? Isn't it Persona? Or something? Oh, maybe. Yes, maybe that's it. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I don't really know what the game is, to be honest. I've never played it. I'm a bad gamer. Bad gamer. Terrible gamer. Be as well. So I don't even know why we have a gaming podcast, but that's okay. <laughs> I know. We, we suck at gaming. I play the egg game with Nemo. <laughs> so Waluigi, I, I hope they put him in it. What were some other ones? They, they mentioned Crash Bandicoot, but... I feel like they'd have to add Spyro if they're going to do Crash. Who would you want in it? I don't know, because they're kind of going for other companies and getting licenses, so they could really add whoever they want. But I don't know what big, like, character. That's why I like Crash is a good thing, because that was, like, a pretty popular game for PlayStation. I would want the goat from Goat Simulator. (laughs) The goat from Goat Simulator. (laughs) Goku from Dragon Ball Z. I've heard that they've rumored (laughs) that so many times before. Oh, really? Yeah, that's been like a real thing, right? Like they've talked about. That would be pretty cool if they did. Make it happen, Nintendo. What are you waiting for? Yeah, what the heck? You have the money. Just do it. All right. Up next is music. This is where we definitely will get hit with a copyright. If it's going to happen. But we all have empty glasses, so we should probably fix that first. Oh, right. So, brewery of the episode. Brassworks. Brassworks. From Waterbury. Go check them out. I was there, and I still don't know where they are. When were you there? Uh, this past weekend. And how was it? How's the tap room? How's the brewery? The tap room is odd. It's, uh, it kind of has, when you first walk in, it's a little bit split up. And, uh, the first half of it feels like an Italian restaurant, but with pews from a church. And then the other half where the taps actually are feels like a rustic tap room, like a nice tap room. And it's like, I don't want to, like, shed negative light on it, but I think they need to update the Italian restaurant half. Just <laughs> the a little Italian bit. Italian restaurant half. Otherwise, I liked it. I thought it was great. What was the average uh, age range, would you say, when you went in there? Well, when we went, it was uh, a little bit on the later side. They were pretty close to closing. They probably had, like, an hour left. And, uh... Oh, we're doing heavy pours? Yeah. Apparently. <laughs> and there was probably... The age range was like around a lot of 60 year olds or so, oh. 50 year olds. Not too many young people, but it was Valentine's Day. 
that might have had something to do with it. It could. But it looked like it could be cool. It looked like there could be people, a lot of people that go there. Obviously, they make some decent beer. They have a lot of beers on tap. How many? I want to say they had like 12. 12? That's not bad. Maybe even more. And they did the collab with Little Red Red Barn. Barn. We already talked about that. We already discussed that. Brewery from last episode. Check it out. The beer and the episode. Anyway. Oh, yeah. Cheers. Oh, we aren't cheersing? Oh, okay. I'm doing the Kevin. I'm such I a know. bad influence. So. I know. This smells fruity. It smells like gummy things. Kind of. For a farmhouse, I really like it. And I don't like farmhouse ales I usually ever. I love farmhouse ales. So this probably isn't funky enough for you. No, it doesn't have that classic funky farmhouse no. taste, but... It tastes kind of like, uh, I don't know, a it's really, really sweet ale. Yeah, it's really heavy yeah. on Candy. the orange. Not my favorite, but... Definitely drink, not drinkable. as spicy as the other. Oh, no, it actually feels nice. Can't confirm no spicy. Yeah. All right, we're going to move on to music. What have you guys been listening to? We'll start with the, the guest of honor. So, just like in, in general day... Life, what yeah. Am I listening to? Yeah. I'm just like at your work, what are you rotating through? So at work, I usually listen to a bunch of movie soundtracks because it calms me down. <laughs> <laughs> um, but otherwise, I'm going to see Dance Gavin Dance oh, nice. next month. So I'm listening to them a bit to try and familiarize myself with some of their music. But other than that, just kind of running through the usual stuff, I guess. I have a, a big playlist of a bunch of random. Royal Blood is one. Uh, Rage Against the Machine. Oh, nice. You know, Are you going to that tour? Yeah, well, so I'm going to Boston Calling. Oh, which yeah, they're, which Rage, they're yeah. Playing at. Yeah, so I got the three-day pass. So Foo Fighters headline the first night, who I've seen a couple times before. Rage on Saturday, the second night. And then Red Hot Chili Peppers, the final night, who I definitely want to see because, you know, they're pretty good. Have you seen them before? No, I haven't. So, pretty happy about that. And sadly, this year, I'm busy when Taylor Swift is playing, so I'm going to miss that. I'm pretty heartbroken. Are you? Yes, I am. What are you doing that isn't seeing Taylor Swift? What is more important because i feel like for you you would cancel any plans to go see taylor swift so completely unrelated to anything else we're going to be talking about on this uh my friends rally race and i'm going to be going and doing photography for them up in maine oh okay that same weekend so there you go there's this well, what, wait kevin ellis photography look him up <laughs> yep yep so that's i'm assuming that's the gillette show that you're missing? Sadly, yes. So isn't there like a New York City one? Yeah, but it's on a weekday. Okay. All right. <laughs> I mean, if you're really trying to get me to go, I'm, do you want to come no, with I me? No, I don't want to go okay, with you. I'm well, just, then what are you, I'm just saying, you're what are you pushing this for. <laughs> I've been just listening to like not a whole lot, but I have been listening to a little bit of a, a person called Vera. They're a local band from, I think he's from, it's not a band. He's like a, a, what would he be considered? A DJ? A DJ. But what? he makes music. A synth uh, composer? Yeah, yeah, composer. A, a synth yeah. composer. Yeah. Just an artist. Yeah. Yeah. Just like, yeah. And he's from Torrington, I'm pretty sure. We saw him last year, and it took me forever to find his music online. I looked everywhere. And finally, I found some stuff. We'll just, uh, we'll play a quick video here. He's very, he reminded me a bit of Stranger Things and video game music combined. Very like hippie-ish. Like I, I could see people probably like doing things and kind of <laughs> feeling good while listening to it. So we'll roll it.
right. That was Vera synth jam number two on YouTube. Go check him out. Hopefully we hopefully it's not copywritten. Otherwise, you probably won't hear this, but you could check him out on YouTube, SoundCloud. Yeah, um, I'll have some links. Probably in, Spotify. I don't know. I'll have some links in the description if you're on YouTube and I'll have some links in the thing above if you're on Facebook and if you're on any of the podcast things, it'll be in the description. Yeah. I haven't really been listening to much since the uh, since the last episode, other than System of a Down, because when I was getting tattooed, that's like all the artist was playing, so I was totally into that. Let's see what my Spotify's got for me. Oh, I've been listening to Fun a lot. I don't know why. Cause it's fun. <laughs> Boo. Boo. <laughs> and that's about it. Other than that, it's like the same thing. And I listen to a lot of jazz when I clean the house. Don't know why. Oh, such as? I don't know. I just put out a Duke Miles. Uh, who are you listening to? Uh, I put on this playlist, and then I just clean the house. Oh, there's some. Oh, Basie's good. Man, yep. Why well, not? we're gonna link this uh, jazz playlist in the description. I've also been listening to jazz and blues. We were gonna get hit with copyrights. What are you doing? I'm just. <laughs> it is just jams. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It's probably not even copyrighted. Copyrighted? What's the real thing? Oh, that's swing, swing, swing. Yeah. See, you know. Swing, swing, swing has one of the most iconic drum it's lines. The Chips Ahoy song. Yeah, well, that too. Oh but otherwise, it's like one of the best drums ever. We are not sponsored by Chips Ahoy. We so should. If they we would like be. to give a sponsorship, but, yeah, if they'd please like reach out. I have been so when I drive in my car, I have the blues channel in the Sirius or uh, blues channel and the jazz channel on Sirius, and I just switch between the two. So I've been also listening to jazz, but I can't even tell you any artists. <laughs> Same. It sounds sometimes like elevator music, and I question what I'm doing in life. That's smooth jazz. Yeah, it is smooth jazz, and it's kind of like kind. yeah, it's not great. All right, next up, Nook is going to talk about hockey because I haven't looked anything up. You could give your opinions on things. I so, could give some opinion. I was at a game on Saturday. Oh, yeah, Kevin just was at a Bruins game. And the Bruins won, and I equate it to how many beers I had. For Which how was many how many? Four. Four? So you yeah. had four beers? Four oh twisted teas. Oh, twisted oh, teas. Yeah. Oh, yeah. How much did the TD Garden charge you for those? Well, obviously too much. $15 is my guess. No, no, they weren't that much. You're not 13, far off. 13. Maybe like 11 12 I didn't pay for all of them. Um, he stole some of yeah, them. Yeah, I, I saw an old man carrying them, so I shoved them <laughs> to the ground and picked them up and ran off. All right. But yeah, no, it was a it was a bad start. They were down one nothing in the first period uh, because they had a shorthanded goal against them. So you could, you know, everyone was thrilled to see that happen. And then second and third, they finally started making shots, and that was the end. Yeah. They won four one, I think. Yep, they beat Detroit, the Red Wings, which are dead last. <laughs> they only won fifteen games. That's terrible. Whew. How are those Devils doing? Mm, Devils are down there too. Yeah, they're twenty eighth. 22 and 27. So the Bruins are still sitting pretty in the number one spot in the league. Barely. So, uh, barely. They got one more point than Tampa. So barely. And have played <laughs> three less games. So how's uh, so barely. <laughs> well, how's the Rangers doing? I think the Rangers. Like the middle, right? Mm, 21st. Uh, so. 21st. Suck it, Donnie. Yeah. <laughs> Suck it, Donnie. We'll do uh we'll do the division so we can see standing. Yeah, the Rangers are still trying to squeeze their way into the wild card. It's actually gonna be a pretty intense race. We'll just say like the top five are probably gonna be battling out that wild card spot for the East. Islanders, Carolina, Columbus, Florida, and the Rangers. All within a few points of each other too. And then you got Buffalo, which actually Buffalo's been on a winning streak lately. Well, could could Isles do well enough to even get out a wild card? And they're not that many games out. Yeah, so only a point behind Philly. Yeah, so they could get out pretty easy. 
Yep, so that'll probably change. It's Like I said last episode, it's going to get pretty exciting here. We'd have a good first round matchup though against Boston and Carolina. Still, that hasn't changed since last episode either. Well, it might by the time we edit this and release it, but that'd be your first round and then Tampa Islanders and Toronto and Philly or I don't I don't know how that NHL does it now with the divisions. It's, it was so much better when they just did 1 versus 8, 2 versus 7. Let's see the uh, the old Western Conference. St. Louis, the defending champions, are boo. still yeah. Boo is right, but they're still up there with Calgary, Arizona, Winnipeg, Nashville, and Minnesota. So that really hasn't changed at all in a week. Trade deadline, a lot of news, a lot of trades going on, and we still got uh, five days to go before the deadline hits. But San Jose Sharks traded Brendan Dillon for two draft picks to Washington. Go get a 2020 second round pick which the Sharks desperately need because they have like no draft picks and then if Brendan Dillon re-signs with Washington they'll also get a 2021 third round pick uh this one kind of came out of the blue this morning the uh, the Habs traded Marco Scandella to St. Louis for two draft picks as well the same thing they'll get a 2021 conditional pick if he re-signs in St. Louis and then this one just happened a few hours ago the Kings traded Alec Martinez to Vegas for two draft picks. A couple days ago, the Tyler Toffoli got traded to the Canucks, so that was kind of one of the players that the Bruins were looking into, but they kind of blew their shot on that. So now they're probably going to either overpay for Chris Kreider, or they might try to get Kyle Palmieri. I think he's on either Minnesota. I don't know. Still plenty of season left, so... I the trade deadlines on Monday, the 24th, so we'll probably do another recording after that and fill you in on all the craziness that's happening, and then we'll be gearing up for the playoff push. We're getting drunk for playoffs. <laughs> you know where else you can get good craft beer and play old school video games? I don't know, Nook. Where? <laughs> well, there's a new place in Southington called Gamecraft Arcade. I think I've been there. Tell me more. All right, so Gamecraft Arcade in Southington, Connecticut. Drink local, play local. It's a big, like, arcade, barcade type type of thing. They got a ton of old, like, video game machines, pinball machines. They got a skee-ball table. They got a bunch of stuff. They have a ton of taps. How many taps do you think they have? 50. No, not, not that 50. many. It's probably, like, it's probably, like, 15, maybe? Probably 15. Yeah, I don't know. They do have a lot of good local craft beer on tap. And if you don't like that beer, you can just go right around the corner and Witch Doctor is yeah, right, they're right there. Yeah, they're right next to Witch Doctor Brewing. Oh, I guess they have some. So yeah, there's a, there's their high scoreboard. There's like their pinball machines. They actually just got a Stranger Things one. I don't know if that one was in there. So we'll have to make a trip oh, back. Yeah. Yeah. See, they got Stranger Things pinball now. Oh. Yeah. I need oh, to go there. Oh, they have a South Park machine too. Yeah, that so they had oh, South Park. Yeah, this is what it looks like. Like, that's the main floor, so they got, like, Oh, Guitar tons. Hero, I'm Yeah. There. Oh, yeah, they got tons. They have a really, at least, if you follow them on the Untapped, you'll see their, uh, you know, their tap list. They always have really good stuff. They have a lot of stuff from Skygazer, which is only, like, two miles away from them. Also in Southington, great brewery, really good beer. Their mixed drinks are pretty good. They're all named after different styles of games i guess or different game things i had, didn't try their mixed drinks when i was there but i actually had one i had to drink it i was forced to you were forced to <laughs> yeah. oh, i'm sure she pulled your well it was actually i don't think it was a video game related name but it was the peanut butter and jelly like martini oh yeah yeah no. excuse me <laughs> peanut <laughs> they, butter and jelly martini they, they use like uh like screwball and they also have um, the whatever raspberry liqueur they have, Chambord maybe. Was and, it good? Uh, it it was it was good. It was strong, but it was strong. Yeah, I remember that. And I I know she wanted me to drive home, and I definitely couldn't drive home after that, especially after that. I don't even think I could play games then. Stronger than Long Island iced tea. Oh, it was AKA just all booze. my favorite drink. <laughs> I don't know if it's stronger than a Long Island, but it, it was all booze. Really neat place. I like the bar, how they have like the old school like cartridges. Oh yeah. Like, 
you know, they have the cartridges epoxy. right inside the bar. Yeah. The tables that they have there are They're actually shaped like cartridges. Big cartridges. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, they did a really good job with it. It's a really cool place. That is cool. They got a lot of cool stuff. Like, we played a ton of skee ball when they were there. And that's uh, board games they have. They have got. They have Asteroids, they have... Galaga, Millipede Centipede, they have Street, Mortal Kombat. Street Fighter? Oh, or, uh, never mind. That's Mortal good Kombat. Mortal Kombat's awesome. They have a 3D Pong yeah, machine. Yeah, which we're going to pull oh, up. That's... It's actually, it's really fun. And it's it's kind of expensive, but yeah. What in the world? It's so cool. Wait, how many times did we play this? We probably a lot. yeah. But it, it was the most expensive game that they have there. But it's worth it. It was. I thought it was worth it because it like. Oh. I mean, I'd play it at least once, regardless yeah. of price. Yeah. But yeah, it's like it's like a magnetic table. It is kind of hard to control. Like it took me a few games to really like. Get... Oh, I I see. Yeah, that is a little difficult. Oh, I am a master at this it's the only game i'm good at to be honest pong that's the type of gamer i am old school well i saw they had the guitar hero machine that's all i'd be at that's yeah, all i got that well they have that how do you feel about ski ball uh, bitches love ski ball <laughs> when i'm at a carnival it's fine beyond that i don't care for it too much oh come on but you could get the high score no. That's better than pride. I could not get the high score. Me neither. Somebody else would get the high score. I cannot get the high score. <laughs> All right. So we're going to plug two more breweries because we're just... We did, we're, we're, we're thirsty. Blah, blah, blah. We're thirsty we're gonna bitches. Plug, we're going to plug two more breweries because we like beer and we're thirsty bitches. It's we been a long day. Bitches. It's been a long day. I need this. All right. First one is uh, OJ on Parole by Lock City Brewing Company. They are in Stamford, Connecticut. Um, this came from our friend John Con. Thanks, John Con. We'll get John Con on Check the Check this at out. Some point. Th this is their their art. It's uh, OJ in his Bronco. Come on. Uh, what kind of beer is this? This is it's a, just an IPA. Just IPA. IPA. Right. Is it a New England or is it a West Coast? Is it a? Don't spoil the surprise, Matt. It doesn't really uh, say anything other than well, it's a surprise. IPA. We'll, we'll all find out together. All right. Well, it's going to be a surprise. Once you pour it, we'll know. I saw yeah, it's either going to be clear yeah. or it's not going to be clear. Yeah. <laughs> I saw an untap that it's supposed to be juicy, but so then it's a New England style. Juice? Yeah. That's oh definitely. yeah, New England style. No question. <laughs> I mean, it is from John Tom. He doesn't mess around. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Let's get dickered, boys. Bad. Not bad, yeah. Not that flavorful. Though. No, I, it's lacking it almost, on the flavor. It almost doesn't taste like anything. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. It. I taste let me try bit. again. Yeah. Maybe it was from all the spices. No, it it, it tastes like it just can't like an like IPA, it, but yeah. it tastes like a flat IPA. Yes, agreed. Flat IPA, like no fruity flavor to it. I have had it for a while. Oh. It, it was canned on 1 20 2020. Yeah, it's not that long, though. Yeah, that no. isn't that long. Especially for an IPA. They keep flavor much longer than that. It is only 6.5%. It still doesn't matter. It doesn't. There's no excuse. Thanks, OJ. Thanks for nothing. But here's the thing I feel like since it tastes like nothing, I could probably drink a lot of these. This is like end of the night when you're kind of blacked out and you still want to look hip. You still want to look him. Uh, Here's your hazy boy. Yeah, I guess. If you're into hazy boys, but what if you're not? Well, you will be. You have an image to. Well, luckily it's not extremely flavorful. Maybe it's better at the brewery. What's the, uh, what's, what's, I'm going to look it up on Untapped so I could get more details about it. I'm a beer snob. Let's be honest. You're using the wrong voice then. I'm a beer snob. What's this called? OJ on parole. OJ, OJ on, on parole, parole, guys. All right, OJ, OJ on parole from Lock City Brewing, Stanford. Oh, it's a brew pub. That's why. It's not just a brewery. Oh, it's just okay. a brew pub. Yeah, that's so, why. See, it's I got not a brewery. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a brew yes. pub. Mm -hmm. A hazy Northeast IPA made with Simcoe and Citra, which I taste none of. Sorry, guys. I taste a hint of it. It's like it was transported in the truck next to hops. Well, my friends that have that's fair that's fair my friends that have checked into it my buddy carl who has checked into it and gave it a 3.5 out of 5 
fair. Yep. And Rich, who gave it a four and a quarter, but he also had it at like on tap there. So. Still, still high. I can't imagine this it going up point. It probably tastes know. better on tap because look at the difference. Like this just. This doesn't taste like four. I can't imagine this being four and a quarter on tap. <laughs> I don't know, but it just looks like it completely, and maybe it's just the lighting, but it looks like, this looks okay. a lot lighter. Yes. That looks more juicy. I've had a lot of hazy boys in my life. It's not the worst. It's not the best. It's not the best, but I would like give it like a, a I'd give it a, a I'd give it a yeah. two and a half. Two and a half. <laughs> wow. Wow. I'm just, wow. I'm being bitter. I'm with I, Kevin I on this. I apologize. I'm sorry. I would go three oh, and a half. I'm sorry, Lock City. Matt is just in the mood today. He doesn't really mean <laughs> that. Probably not. It has an average rating of 3.9. Or 3.5. 3.9 is a good rating. That is a good rating. I would buy that beer. But it, it right. isn't bad. And in cans, it's almost, it's 3.96. Three and a half is still where I'd put something like this. All yeah. Right. Maybe I... It's not the worst. I would get it again if I had to. All right. If it was the only Hazy Boy there, yeah. Maybe it's better in the summer. Maybe. Could be. All right. Let's go drink a beer from somewhere that doesn't. Hey, wait. I'm slow down, bud. Yeah. Oh, I'm already. He's some, getting dicker. <laughs> yeah, someone's having a fun night tonight. Oh, I don't got to work tomorrow. I got to go to New Jersey to see the devil play the sharks. Oh, Ugh. is that tomorrow? Yeah, it's tomorrow. What time? Seven o'clock. It's going to be a late night. Yeah. Get dickered, bud. Now we're going to drink another beer from Treehouse Brewing in Charlton, Mass. And if you don't know of Treehouse, then you've been living under a f***ing rock because Treehouse is worldwide known and people are trading their beers all across the globe. People are coming from Europe just to go to Treehouse. So I don't know what to tell you. This beer also comes courtesy of myself. Oh, Kevin. <laughs> Thanks, Kevin. Actually, he didn't even go to Treehouse. He had a minion. Shh, shh. Nobody needs to know about that. <laughs> oh, you that. got muled? Shh. Nobody Ooh. needs to know. I brought it. I got it. That's it. That's it. No, nothing more. Who's the artwork by on this? What's Dean the Dean Or Mick Keever. What's his those. name? Yeah. yeah. All right. Dean Keever. That's who it is. It's a dinosaur and it looks awesome. And check out his website. He has a big cartel shop where he sells prints. He sells frame prints. He sells basically all his artwork. He's incredible. Check him out. Also has a huge mural at Treehouse. All right. The bottom of the can says, moving my nips like, yeah. Wait. Moving my hips like, yeah. <laughs> Come on, tell me that doesn't look like yeah. an N. <laughs> it's very clearly an H. <laughs> <laughs> I just see what I want to see. Yeah, definitely an H. Moving my nips. Thanks, at Miley Cyrus. Speaking of art while he pours, I got some new art. Oh, I saw. Room. Oh, it's amazing. It is you, amazing. Tony, you got to throw a picture up in the video. I will provide a picture for him to put up. It is a white horse, but instead of a horse's face, it's a Furby. So it's a Furby horse. <laughs> I don't think I like this already. <laughs> oh, it's it's pretty funny. Gorgeous. Because if you've ever had a Furby, it makes me laugh because you remember the Furby phrases, the me hungry, the all the noises it would make. So I just imagine a horse with a Furby's head making these noises. Is this uh, 89 there, Tony? 89, right. 69, 89. No, they did, all right. So the Curiosity series is just an experimental series that Treehouse does. They've started with the number one, and now they're up. Now they must be in the 90s now because they release like one every two weeks. Anyway, these assholes skipped number 69 for some reason. Shame. Lone opportunity. Shame. It went. Your beer is great, but shame. It went Curiosity oh. 68 to Curiosity 70. So did not like that. Boo. 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 Anyway, let me read a description before we cheers this. Curiosity 89 is brewed with a complex blend of American hops to learn about and enjoy the character from the 2019 hop selections. The result is a heavy citrus forward with notes of tangerine, orange marmalade, and orange creamsicle. It's a great one. Enjoy. Orange creamsicle. All right, cheers. cheers. <laughs> Oh, that's so much better. Yep. This has flavor. <laughs> that's a lot of flavor. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> it's... Now, when he, when Tony said on the last one he could down these. Oh. This. Yeah. I could put this down in a few seconds. Yeah. 
It's just delicious. It's smooth. Yeah, it tastes smooth. Good. It has really good flavor. What's the percent on this? It comes in at... 8.2 is my guess. Uh, 8.3. Close. Now, it doesn't feel like that. It no, doesn't it, even it feel feels like a light beer. So. Yeah. It feels like there's a lot of flavor, but it feels like there's not any alcohol. Yeah, in double it. IPA. American, the, like... The worst is that Omni Polo triple I had with the... Uh, oh, man, that was a five, though. But oh. yeah, th- yeah, that one, it was, it was a... Like one of the best beers I've ever had. What was it seven, nine breweries that did the? Uh, oh, it might have been like nine or ten breweries that collabed on it. It, it was insane, but it was ten or eleven percent. One of the smoothest beers I've ever had. Do you remember what it was called? It's Omni Polo something nine or seven. You'd have to go back and look at the, my ratings. But they partnered with Trillium. Yeah, and- I know other half. I know other other half. Other half. Yep. Have you been to other half? I have not. Uh, I've had a lot of breweries. Next time you go to New York City for work, go check out other half because they're in Brooklyn. Usually, my beer going when going to New York City for work is stopping at the little yeah um, Grand Central Grand Central Station uh, beer shop they have where they have all these different breweries. I don't. You know where they get them from, or no? I've, yeah. I have also haven't been. We went to Grand Central last year, but I don't think we popped in. They, there. they changed because I went. Um, I was there within a matter of a couple of days, and they had a definitive that I wanted to get, but I didn't. Or they had two definitive ones, which is in Maine. They're fantastic. A couple days later, they were gone. Huh. So I don't know how often they change it out, but it seems like pretty quick, maybe. Well, the next time you're there, if you have time to hang around, definitely hop on the subway, go to Brooklyn, go to other half. Crazy brewery. You wouldn't even... It's probably like the size of this garage in there, but they just put out so much beer, and it's delicious. And they probably... I think they had like 14 or 15 beers on tap, usually. What about 50? No, not that many, but... (laughs) Okay. All right, I think this uh, concludes episode two of Larry's Entertainment Lab. Thank you for watching or listening, however you're contacting us. If you're aliens, thank you. Don't (laughs) probe us. Yes, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you to our guest, Kevin, for hopping on and hanging out with us, drinking beer. Also, the don't probe us does not apply to everybody. You suck, you jackass.